What's up everyone, Renfail here, and we are diving into the Druid in today's edition of our Baldur's Gate 3 pre-launch prep. Now, I've been playing the Early Access since it first came out, and I've played a lot of different classes throughout the testing. I've had a lot of fun in this game, um, and I am really, really, really looking forward to its launch here as we approach the launch date. Um, Going through, we're going to be doing a variety of sort of pre-launch class guides. Um, so if you like that kind of stuff, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update and don't miss any live streams either. We're doing a lot of different things, um, class guides, testing stuff, pre-launch plans, and beyond. So hopefully we'll see you in one of the other videos. Now before we get going, don't forget that there are a lot of different ways that you can play Baldur's Gate 3. The most important of which is to just have fun. It's a big, 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 really big game. <laughs> and uh, there's no rush. So uh, don't feel like you need to, you know, immediately get, you know, your first 200 hours of the game done within the first, you know, week of the game. This is something that's meant to be played over months and years. So with that being said, I tend to ramble a bit. Let's get into the actual video. What's really interesting to me about this is that during most of my previous playthroughs of other games, I have played a rogue through the first playthrough. But there's something about the druid that has just captured me as I've gone through early access here in uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I can't tell you specifically what it is, because I don't know yet. <laughs> but I just know that I really, really, really like it. One of the things I think is really cool is that as a druid, along with rangers, I mean, theoretically anybody could for the most part, but you get this, at least I did, you know, when I was rolling my druid. Um, you know, I did a forest gnome. Uh, druid and one of the things I love is the ability to talk to animals so Orm here I don't know if I have it running right now let's double check he didn't come back did he his smell is gone he's gone I do have it on so the uh, talking animals component of the game if you've never played divinity original sin 2 there were some amazing simply amazing side quests that you could find if you were able to speak to animals the same thing is true in this game one of the reasons i've really fell in love with the druid since i started was just i kind of you know i loved the background of the forest dome elves are also a great option the the wood elves um but but you know humans as well i'm not saying they're any, any are bad but for me i like the the fey um races and i love the connection to the earth and everything else but really being able to, to talk to animals is like this extra level of immersion and it's like there's this whole other game that's there lurking under the surface that you won't even know about unless you go out there and have this ability so it's really really cool to be able to see stuff like this and be like what he didn't come back his smell is gone he's gone and i'm going to say who are you looking for master he left with the weaponed two legs he said he'd be back but i can smell them the weaponed ones and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. Oh, this is Halson's bear. I'll be damned. So see, I honestly hadn't talked to this bear yet. I've talked to all the other ones in the camp, but I haven't talked to this one. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, you look strong. Why not go after him? No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately. And I was never the strong one. It's a very interesting little thing. It doesn't lead to a side quest, but it's an entirely different conversation um, that you get because you are, um, well, at least in my case, because I'm a druid. I'm an I'm a animal-loving druid, tree hugger, and I love the, uh, the pose. So moving on to abilities, I think they've done a really good job at making the druid feel like a druid. Um, now, obviously, when you go through character creation, you're going to have a ton of different options that will impact the way that your druid plays because there's all this stuff tied into the races and sub-races of this game and, and the way it impacts your playthrough and the way it impacts your character. So we've seen already through a lot of early access, um, there are tons of dialogue options that are completely just not available to 
other classes when they play through the game. And this ties into the unique abilities. There's a unique aspect to playing each one of the classes but the druid gets all its own dialogue options and a lot of really cool abilities but remember that some of the abilities are going to be based on the um, type of druid that you are now i went with the circle of the moon um, it says here druids channel the elemental forces of nature and share a deep kinship with animals so i wanted that that type of druid masteries of wild shape allows them to transform into beasts from all over the realms and i have inherent two different abilities i have speak with animals which is always prepared for this particular class i love it and i have speak with the dead which um i believe is something i'm wearing right now i would have to uh uh d dive into it a little bit more and then out of my prepared spells so if i can go in here i can prepare lists you know, we can go over here and look at all of my available spells. And this is what I really want to uh, talk through because there's some really cool stuff in here, right? So Fairy Fire, I love getting Fairy Fairy Fire. Um, in case multiple targets in colorful lights, which makes them visible and, uh, and all attack rolls against them have advantage. This is hugely, hugely, hugely valuable when you're doing, um, I would say, you know, boss fights or fights with lots of lots of mobs that are a little bit higher level for you. It's a really good spell to have. Um, I will often alternate between this and Flaming Sphere. So while we're sitting here, we might actually just go ahead and um, get Fairy Fire up there while we're at camp. Um, then they've got Good Berry. You know, four magical berries for yourself and a companion. I love that ability. It's so cool. Of course, Entangle. Vines sprout from the ground. Uh, slowly, slowing creatures within and possibly entangling them. Really cool stuff. Uh, we also have Animal Friendship, which charms a beast. It has to have an intelligence of three or less, of course. Um, and um, also, down in here, Speak with Animals. So we've got two versions of this. Um, I have it available as a spell, but then also as an inherent ability. Um, Flaming Sphere I really enjoy. Flaming Blade, I probably won't ever use it, but um, you have Spike Growth. This spell is really, 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 really useful. Um, I also, if you ever watched any of my Celasta uh, Crowd of the Magister playthroughs, um, I, I love having a Druid in my party specifically because of the Spike Growth spell from Dungeons & Dragons, because it does as it says here a creature walking on the spikes takes 2d4 piercing damage for every one and a half meters it moves this spell is huge um and it lasts as it says for a hundred <laughs> turns uh it's really really cool now it does take active concentration so you want to make sure you have some some way of maintaining concentration even if you get hit with an arrow or something there are ways to boost that um but like I said, the druid spells feel very druidy. Bark skin, of course, which is a classic. Um, but uh, I think that's one of the things I really like about the druid since I started playing it is is they've done such a good job with the various classes in this game and the way they play. They all feel really, really, really unique. And... Um, this one's no exception. I mean, the Druid feels like it has that connection with the Earth, and it has totally made it worth playing from my perspective. Also, being able to shapeshift. Um, I can show that here while we're on uh, this video. Um, so I have all these options available. Badger, Spider, Wolf, Cat, Bear. Let's just do Cat. I've done Wolf a few times during live streams. I haven't done Cat before. So he's prepared the spell. Look at the animations for this. This is so dope. <laughs> Meow. And now my kitty cat. That transition is amazing. Um, by the way, why is Will suffering from poison or something? I'm going to have to go talk to him in a minute. But you get dash, hide, meow. So you get different abilities when you shapeshift. Um, so like this is the, uh, the kitty cat ability. Meow says, uh, attract the attention of nearby creatures to draw them closer to you. Um, but look at this. You could walk around as a... Oh, you Don't can even waste run. a step. I've never played a kitty cat before. This is so awesome. All right, they did a good job with that. Um, also, I have, I have claws, which allows me to do uh, three damage. 
That's really cool. That's really, really cool. We'll dismiss it, go back. Woof. Takes a minute to refresh from that, and then you can go in here and do what else would we want to try? I don't like spiders, that grosses me out. Uh, let's check out Badger. I've never seen Badger before. I usually just stick to the wolf. That is a big ass badger. Holy crap. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> that is amazing, everybody. Commercial time, everyone. Huge shout out to the guild champions who are our highest tiered membership here on YouTube. We've got Bubblonia, Ancient Entity, Crazy's Relative, Remy D. Thanks so much for your support here on the channel. And of course, to all of our members who help keep me full time here on YouTube. Thanks so much for your support, for being here, for checking in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. Super chat any live streams or premieres you see. Super thanks any video uploads you see. Don't forget YouTube shorts in that category as well. And hopefully we'll see you in in the next live stream, don't forget the Discord, links are down below. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, looks like we're gonna get a chance to do a little bit of battle here. We'll be able to see the uh, the Druid in action today. So first up, we've got Gale. Let's do our Ray of Frost. I wonder if this is worth All right, the cost. it's my Druid time. So let's take a look at the various spells I have. Now he's coming in to take out this character. Definitely a larger mob, 27 hit points. So probably level, what, three or so, two or three. Um, so I have a variety of spells at my disposal. We definitely know he looks like a melee character. So he's probably gonna run at us. So this is when I like to, to, to put down my spike growth because we could do something like this. Because And this is a good area to do it too because it's a choke point. So if he wants to attack me or the character, he's going to have to come all the way through us. And we're going to put it right at the edge of where we're standing. Okay, now I'll back away a little bit to get out of his line of sight just in case he does do arrows or something. Because then he'll have to move to shoot me and he'll then take damage. Alright, he is surprised. That's actually really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and do a hamstring shot slow it down a bit maybe not enough movement all right so he's saved to stay focused all right hit him with something from a distance let's do my sacred flame cantrip oh cool that person's running so getting out of his line of sight area all right, now we're going to watch my feet. this thing come through. I'm actually not going to take a turn this time, and the reason for that is because I want it to come to me, so I don't want to do anything to jeopardize it. I could hit it with the Thorn Whip. It's too far away for me to hit it with Poison. Uh, yeah, I'll have to move up to do Poison Spray, so we're just going to wait. Here, all right. So, I was too close, guys and he hit me with something from a distance. <laughs> so, apparently the rocks were not enough to block his line of sight. Ready. Don't run down into it. Well, I don't actually want to kill it. I want to. I want to watch the spike growth do their thing, everybody. <laughs> One day I'll catch a break. All right, there we go. There we go. You have good timing. I'd say the most important takeaway that I can give someone who wants to play a druid in Baldur's Gate 3 is just take your time in character creation because you really can play this class any way you want to. Want to be a healer? Be a healer. Want to be a damage dealer? Be a damage dealer. Want to be a support class who does animal summons and AoEs? Do that. Do you want to be a shapeshifter and do lots of damage in combat? You can do that. You want to be the tank with the bear form? You can do that. There are lots of different ways to play the druid. It's a very, very versatile class. And when you're in character creation, you have all these options to go through and you know pick the way that you start. Um, also, you know with your you know, prepared spells, you can customize those. You have 
all of these races at your disposal and the sub races um, between like high elf and wood elf and you know going through and, and saying I, I don't want to be a forest gnome I want to be a deep gnome or maybe I want to be a rock gnome you know by the way I love that hairstyle um, lots of different ways to play your druid so don't be afraid to take your time in character creation and just find something that suits you and as you level up you know you'll be able to expand upon that and choose your your circle and, and all these different things just take your time play what you want there is no best way to play a druid so find something that works for you and go from there because i think it's a really fun class and i definitely uh i've never played this as my first playthrough so it's it, it was good enough to get my attention so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon support if you can membership super chats all those things hopefully we'll see you in discord in the next video until then stay safe and happy gaming